we're going to assume that the truss okay. rod works at this point, yeah. but we'll find out. Okay. So, so is there just one size? Uh, um, or are they all different? It'll be on kind of Far Eastern May guitars. It will normally be 4 mil. Sometimes it's 5 mil. But okay. this is a 4 mil Allen key. Right. And so we've got it firmly in there. On yeah. this guitar, that retainer's quite advanced this way, so it's a little bit in the way. Yeah. But we've got it in there. So if you were going <coughs> to... It's it's like um, uh, any kind of screw action really. Uh -huh. To tighten it, you can make it clockwise. To loosen it, you can make it anti-clockwise. Okay. With righty, this, righty tighty, lefty loosey. That works for me. <laughs> and so what we need to do is we're going to try and get rid of some of the the relief, you know, the the bow yeah, yeah, the the yeah. on the treble side, and see if it compromises the bass side to the degree that we that it's not going to work or whether it will right. work. Okay. So, so just, do we want to tighten it or loosen we, it? We, we need to tighten it okay. to straighten the neck. That'll That's tightening it will straighten the neck. Yeah, okay. okay. So at uh, this point, you know, people quite often throw their hands up in the horror and say, oh, the truss rod, I never touched yeah. the truss rod. Well, okay, you can, you can think that way if you want and always take it to someone you trust to, to do any adjustment for uh -huh. you. But... The watchword really is, is don't be afraid. I would say it's there to to protect the guitar, you know, in terms of protecting the neck against the pull of the strings, mm -hmm. but it's also there to facilitate the action that you want mm -hmm. and also to accommodate any changes in, you know, humidity. The climate and humidity. Mm -hmm. yep. so, which is less relevant, really, I think, in, in this country than it is in loads of other places around the world. But yeah. nevertheless, it's good to have it. Yeah. And some necks are more kind of volatile than others, well, and some are really stable. Some, no matter what you, what strings you put on them, what you do, they stay rock solid. Yeah. So others, my, my roasted maple necks hmm. seem to be really solid. Yeah. But one of them, uh, one of the surguitars that I had, uh, a Guthrie jobby, that I, when I took it to Italy, the hmm. neck just... Yeah. bowed it was yeah, like yeah. you know I could have yeah. played archery with it you know it was huge. yeah yeah you say, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Arrows, yeah. yeah. And, and that brings me just before we adjust this to something yeah. else that you, when you buy a, the guitar initially what you can do um, it's good to have a stiff neck you know mm -hmm. and a way to test that is if you have the guitar kind of in a playing position and you can just strum it open and then squeeze the neck uh-huh and this is actually good, hmm. all right? It, it is, it's quite a substantial maple neck with a separate fingerboard and it, it's pretty strong because quite a lot of necks, you know, quite a lot of the modern, you know, fast skinny necks, if mm -hmm. you do that, I can't do it because you, you'll get you can it fret them out. You'll fret mm -hmm. them out, exactly. And Which means you, the strings will stop ringing. Yeah. yeah, and if you, I think if you get that, then that's another reason uh -huh. maybe to think hard about buying that guitar, I would say that's probably not one that should be top of the list mm -hmm. to choose, yeah, even yeah. if it sounds good. So they're kind of two criteria that you can mm -hmm. good use. Good Cool. Okay, so if we adjust this. Okay, hang on, let me just get this. Are you ready for that? Yep. Okay, so if we adjust it. So you're doing like quarter degree so kind of turn. Way. Just put that out of the way. It's turning very easy. Probably done about three eighths, I suppose. I'm not okay. Have a turn. No, let's just pop that back and put it up to pitch. And the thing you do as well, what we didn't mention, the guitar should be in tune. If it's not in tune, then the dynamics of the whole thing change because, um, irrespective of whether it's got a tremor or not, we can come to that a bit later. Uh -huh. If you think of string gauge as string gauge and string tension as one side of a balance then the other side of the balance is kind of the neck relief and uh -huh. how much the neck pulls and you need so this is, uh, the adjusting the truss rod is something that you do when you adjust when you change string gauge as well so if you go up oh, or yeah, down yeah, the string yeah, you gauge need, you're you probably going to gonna need it. to yeah, yeah. I think yeah. and the good thing about evaluating the guitar you know uh, at day one almost if you like is you know then you've got a, a reference point all the time. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got a reference point, it's like anything else, you think, oh, yeah, what was it like? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, we've adjusted that. Yeah, and now, I don't know if you... Uh-huh. 
don't know That's if you, if you, you might gonna... pick that up, you might not, but that's now a gnat closer than uh -huh. it was before. Yeah, yeah. So, and how about on the thinner string? In an ideal world, what we want is the thinner string. Yeah, that's a bit better too. So we might go with that. Okay. Because depending how even the level the frets are, we might get away with that degree of straightness on the bass side. But uh -huh. we'll see. Okay. Okay. So now, how do we measure action? That's one of the things that people that I've often wondered about. Like, is it because I've always just gone with the feel of it like I, I like it so it's not so low that it gets all buzzy but it's not so high as it becomes uncomfortable to play but is there I can see you've got like a little measure thing is it worth people buying a measure thing to measure the height of their action or should they just try and use their hand and feel it out um, I think if you if you're at the point that you're playing where you can where you know if you like something or you don't like it then you can almost do it, you know, by eye, if mm -hmm. you like, by feel. Um, if you want to know that the guitar is as good as it possibly can be and mm -hmm. isn't inhibiting your progress, yeah. then you could do it by measuring it. Uh -huh. And I suppose you could then, as you advance, you could then adopt to some kind of amalgamation of those two things, yeah, yeah. knowing, mm -hmm. and if you, particularly if you have more than one guitar, you might then think, okay, well, I like, you know, guitar A because its action is such and such that you've measured and recorded, mm -hmm. whereas B, I don't like quite, I don't quite like it as much, but at that point you can look for, you know, you can do your neck relief thing, is the neck the same, uh -huh. is the action the same, and what will come to me is the nut height the same. Mm -hmm. So you can try and get the two guitars to be more similar. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of of the belief that, you know, different guitars with different characteristics, different woods, bridges, scale lengths, you can never get, you know, guitar one feeling exactly the same mm -hmm. as guitar two anyway. And that's the, you can say, oh, that's not really good, but I think that's the beauty of it in lots of ways. Uh -huh. and, and a good that, reason to have lots of guitars. Yeah, right, absolutely. <laughs> and, 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 you know, without question, you know, you give the same, you know, you give different guitars to the same person and they'll play differently uh -huh. mm -hmm. and sound if they're really, really good, they tend to to sound the same, mm -hmm. but quite often they'll play slightly differently, mm -hmm. I think. Interesting. And I should just point out this little idea that we had here to get the neck up as well. Uh, you can buy little stands that, that go underneath, uh, or you could use a book, or we just went for some, I had some spare Justin guitar t-shirts in the corner, so we just rolled a couple of those up, just to, just to enable you to adjust the tuning pegs uh, while the guitar's lying flat. Yeah, so we wanted to use the cap. Oh yeah, thing, yeah. okay, to, yeah. So to check pop, that just pop the cap on that makes it that's just makes yeah. doing that net relief thing easier oh, yeah. to be such a contortionist to do it so you can kind of do it this uh -huh. way ah yeah i see which makes it a bit easier to do yeah 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 so still how long does it take after you've adjusted the truss rod for the neck to work itself into its proper well, thing? Is it more or less instant or? If the truss rod is working well um, and the guitar is a, has been well well manufactured it should be pretty much instantaneous and something that um, and what gets in the way of that if you like is the truss rod is metal rod that's in a channel within the neck and quite often though it'll either be within an aluminium boxed extrusion uh -huh. <coughs> or the old style ones it is just literally you know something like a quarter inch metal rod uh -huh. um, that they tend to often it will be wrapped in some kind of uh, PTFE or some like uh -huh. tape nowadays to give it some lubrication so it doesn't stick but they can stick within the channel as it because it's obviously embedding itself yeah, quite yeah. firmly and so to ease that if you like what you can do is once you've adjusted it if you kind of uh, give it a bit of a yeah so around. what I'm doing there is with my fretting hand I'm kind of pushing you know yeah. that way and with my picking hand I'm pushing this way yeah, yeah so yeah. you're kind of giving mm -hmm. it if it's going to stick, 
if it's you, sticking, then you kind of you kind of help it so it, it just moves. I've heard them crackle on. before on some of my older guitars. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it like, can, oh, it, it can be a bit alarming. Yeah. But you know, if you think about it, you know, an old guitar, you know, it's 20, 30, yeah, 40 yeah, yeah, years yeah. old, and it hasn't been adjusted in that time. Mm -hmm. It's going to have bedded in one place. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Fair enough.